Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. I thought I would post a short video on some tips and tricks for you here um, regarding posting comments and some helpful tips for you uh, for all grades. So first of all, if you comment on one of my videos, I will answer you. I check every day. I know I haven't posted a video for a while, but I do keep close watch over comments. I'm especially happy when I read wonderful comments from students who have had great success in their unit tests or have found the channel really helpful and that makes me feel really good. So you're welcome um, and I hope to read lots more encouraging comments. If you have a comment about a video and there's something wrong with it and there are a few mistakes in some of the videos um, if you could check the comments below first, because many people have watched these videos and many of them have found the same mistake. So if you check the comment first to see if someone else has already uh, said, oh, you divided by two there and it should have been a half or something. So just check that first and save some time for both of us. Also, if there's a specific point in the video that you don't understand, it's best if you can put the time in your comment. And that saves me from trying to figure out exactly where you got lost. And that way I don't have to waste time looking through a 20 minute video for a two second clip. And that would be nice. Um, if you're in grade 10 and you're looking for some extra help, and I have been asked a few times about this, there is a book called Math Power 10, and you can find it online in a PDF form, and it is an excellent textbook. It's one I used to always use to supplement my classroom uh, lessons, and there's lots of practice, and the solutions are in the back of the book. So you should um, download that. Now, at the bottom of this video, in the comments section, I will put some links to some of these things. If you're in grade 11 or 12, I would suggest that you look for the Teacher's Solution Manual. And these are readily available for functions and advanced functions. I'm pretty sure calculus and vectors as well. Nelson, if you just Google Nelson uh, Teacher's Manual Solutions, they give complete solutions. Now, sometimes they're really helpful and sometimes you might still say, I still need some help with that and, and that's okay and I'm willing to help you with that. But uh, it's just a little resource for you that I think all teachers should give to their students because if you don't know how to do it and you're stuck and all you see is the final answer, that doesn't really help you much, does it? Um, the Advanced Functions textbook has many mistakes in it. And to that end, on my PB Wiki site, which you, um, I'll put the link to as well, is if you just Google Ms. Havrot's exciting math classes, you will find all the notes to every lesson that is online here. And also, that's also where you might find some handouts that I refer to. Um, I did edit that page with, you know, for my YouTube followers read or watch this or download this. So um, you can go there and in the advanced functions page, right at the top, there is a link to a handout that tells you all of the mistakes that are in the textbook and what the solutions should be. So that's that's a really helpful thing to know. I know how frustrating it can be when, you, when you're pretty sure you know what you're doing and then you get an answer that's way off and you can't figure out what's wrong and, and definitely um, it's quite possible that you were right. So I'll put the link to that as well. Uh, finally, I have been getting some notices from Facebook, or not Facebook, but YouTube, that um, they're going to start, uh, or you can post a lot of shorts, and I was thinking about doing that. And if you have any suggestions for shorts that you would like to have um, readily available, I'm thinking of um, you know, things like basic drills, like exponent laws, or how to add and subtract fractions, how to multiply fractions, how to change um, radians and degrees, degrees into radians, like just a really quick, uh, as you know, shorts under one minute. So if you have anything that you would like to have me do, please include that as well in the comments section of this video. 
Congratulations on getting through this far of the term. It's uh, mid-November. Before you know it, you'll be done. Some of you will be moving on to uh, calculus and vectors next semester. I think the majority of my viewers are watching advanced functions at this time. Um, so I wish you all the best in your exams. That might be something new this year now that everybody's back in the classroom, hopefully. So I wish you all the best and uh, continue to comment, like, subscribe, share, tell your friends, make it a Miss Havrot party night. <laughs> And I love you all. Good luck and talk to you soon. Bye-bye.